What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play out the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we have begun our final offensive against the rest of our enemies in the world, chiefly New Spain. And Paul Rivera has advanced north to attack Fabio de Croix after we have landed in uh, modern day Colombia. Their force will not stand against us, we will destroy them. So let's teach them the meaning of pain so I can replenish my army and maintain our offensive. But we have uh, the Huron to engage, the, and the Huron, the Pueblo Nations, the Plains Nations, and New Spain. Those are our remaining enemies in this campaign. They will be brought to heel and soon, very soon, we will conquer the world. <laughs> this will have been done really quickly as well. 50 episodes. Howitzers deploy behind the lines. My gunners deploy upon this raised ground here. Form an almighty line. Bias towards the right flank. I'm going to put chief and put all my cavalry on the left. Plus a unit of pikes. General in the centre. We have just so much firepower. There is just no limit to our possible gains. First of all, actually, let's make my Carabinier, uh, Carabineros Real and my Royal Crescia Guards fire it will off so it shoot my men in the back. We're opening salvo against their guns. Really ruffled some feathers. Okay, I wasn't nearly as ambitious enough with that front line. I, I thought they were going to come at me, but apparently not. Cavalry is focusing on my left so let's get my cuirassier to pick up some pace because we've got a light colonial cavalry unit inbound let's head them off oh i didn't select everyone for this that was a poor decision get my pikes up here to finish off the cavalry quickly what do you mean did i still not do it God alive, that was a deployment snafu. The rest of my cavalry continued to push their flank. So we've got cavalry on the right. No, oh no, sorry, frontiersmen. I thought they looked kind of cavalry-ish from a distance. Get my general up front, take this high ground. And the enemy infantry is still scrabbling around together in one big clump. When my pikes get in here, that will break the cavalry. Yeah, so get my cavalry moving and my pikes moving. We're engaging the frontiersmen with volley fire. Yeah, that's the end of them. Pivot our right flank. These two units drop into squares because it looks like that's going to be the fo they're focusing their cavalry power on us there. Get my cavalry. To drive in the left flank. As long as you maintain the square, you'll be alright. Can't get into the square if you hold firm. Let's get our guardia to core to take out their general. Get my pikemen to get involved, start rolling up their flank. Their right flank's giving us a bit of hassle. They're surprisingly resilient. But not for long, I don't think. My Spanish noblemen are going to take out the general's bodyguard and kill their commander.
you men get out of square and go save your comrades. Ceasefire my artillery. Because we're about to uh, destroy the rest of the enemy force. Obviously the frontiersmen fancy the chances a bit more. So now we don't need to extend out our right flank quite so much. We can devote some troops specifically to take them out. Just mowing down as much of their army as we possibly can because as you can see it is pretty much defunct. Get my general up here rapidly. Yeah, some units will pick up and come back and not route properly and that's okay. Just do as much damage as possible. Because this is an army that will retreat back towards their capital. Now you pick off a few units, these units try and just do damage to the bulk. Okay, you men advance over there. To be honest, I think <laughs> they're a bit done for. It's an absolute slaughter in the woods. Frontiersmen are likely to be... Yeah, they've been chased off of their mountain. Attack the 8th, because they're exposed. The 6th Regiment of Foot look like they're about to get wiped out. Yeah, there they go. Uh, let's, we could continue it, but there's no point. Um, the army's conclusively destroyed, and we will probably see... Yeah, they've only got 600 men remaining. Ah, they're pushing towards uh, Caracas, I see. Well, this turn we're about to see a whole bunch of ships come over the horizon. Letter of demands from Denmark. Oh, it's because they have a university, don't they? Or Dents, that's it. But we did capture it during an end turn phase. So we haven't really had a turn to do much about it. Although, beyond a bit of constructing. There's not a lot we are going to do. Oh. <laughs> the Spanish have returned to America. So, Paulino Guerrero, you were going to sail for Panama. Mr. Crespi, you are going to sail to Antigua. Yeah, I know there's going to be some pushback to that. Oh, but just sail around and land your army. Oh my god. I never wrote. Maybe they're so close we can do it. Demand the surrender. Alright then, that's an auto resolve for darn sure. Uh, yeah, why the hell not? Build some fortifications. Mr. Crespi, can you go for Guatemala? Have they left this port open? See, there are some Spanish fleets blockading our progress. Now, so we have to land our troops off the coast. You're going to get sunk, so you may as well go and attack the navy just to see what you can do. You'll probably get absorbed into their fleet. Nah, you took one out. Eh. Um, fleet arrives. Okay, we've moved you. Okay, so this force with Tito Cardenas Field Marshal, no less. Sailed to Campeche, or Cam Cam Campeche sounds more authentic. Mr. Chavez. 
sail to Veracruz. Uh, I did wonder if they were going to intercept me. Very well. We will destroy the army under Marco Noboa. Again, it's just a big, a typical colonial army, just a big block of infantry, a couple of light artillery pieces, and some uh, not very good cavalry. And it's not from lack of choice. Um, unless, the, Well, the mod doesn't only apply to the human player, as far as the additional units mod is concerned, because we see plenty of other armies recruiting grenadiers, fusiliers, um, horse grenadier guards. It's not impossible. Artillery lob shells over our heads. So my Walloon infantry, my Walloon guards are going to be at the centre. East India Company infantry on the right. My line infantry on the left. Frontiersmen are going to be grouped. Actually, the right's slightly weaker. Conquistador on both flanks. I might put my halberdier guard to push up the left as well. General in the centre. So the Walloon will advance. Advance my conquistador up to deal with the light cavalry. Cavalry on the left are abandoning the left so you men advance with the halberdiers with the conquistador conquistador fire at will put a volley into the colonial cavalry could have just should have just charged them but it's the point of having skirmish cavalry if you never skirmish with them go after the general's bodyguard like that is the option i think Get my skirmishes up rapidly. Fire it will on. Artillery is after my left flank. The swines. There we go. So we're beginning the surrounding. He's got so many delicious infantry units around. We can oh, good artillery shots against against the enemy guns there. There you go. My my frontiersmen doing a grand job. Maintain the offensive. The cavalry are going to be looking at the 5th Regiment of Line. Focus our how it's fire on the right flank, because that's where we are. Well, we're not weak. We're not weak anywhere. But Charge the Line Infantry with my Conquistador. As the volleys slam home. Yet yeah, they've knocked down one conquistador. Seven. And now we're over the line. Pick new quick line targets. The enemy flank is crumbling. So push my guys up rapidly. Conquistador tearing the colonial line infantry, a new one. Sucks into fighting the frontiersmen rather than the general's bodyguard. Go on, my skirmishers. Put some shots into the general's bodyguard. 
Good old bit of quicklime. Let's redesignate our targets. Attack the general's bodyguard. Pivot. Turn fire will off and on again so they, to make sure they continue picking new targets. The Conquistador are going to start to chase down their colonial light cavalry. Some of their infantry looks like they've started to uh, get some balls or grow some balls. Advance my Conquistador up and start to use them as skirmish cavalry because they're a bit weak. Get my Halberdier Guard in against the Light Cavalry because my cavalry is being weird. So let's send my Conquistador to chase down the 30th Regiment. My Halberdiers will do a real number on the Light Cavalry, that's for sure. Let's get our artillery to fire round shot. Advance up against the enemy line. The Frontiersmen are trying to charge. There we go. Push up our line against the only formations that are actually standing against us. The frontiersmen will go down to my heavy cavalry. Okay, my halberdier guard did get into some more action. Kill him! That guy's down. Okay. Turn off our artillery fire, although it looks like the 23rd Regiment have also been knocked down. Look at all these dead new Spanish bodies that litter the battlefield. Nice. So this is the force we want to march against Mexico. They've been pushed back towards Guatemala, so you men replenish. Where's that, the army that was, there was, I'm sure I sent an army that was on their way to land here as well when I was intercepted. Okay, there it is. Where? Okay. Let's land a second army off of the coast towards Antigua. And this force, Felix Gallas, let's sail you. There won't be a naval threat to worry about. Sail you up towards York Factory. You're also going to deliver your troops ashore. We don't necessarily need to worry about the um, using the port itself. Good. So the sixth rate can be scuppered. Here on territories look like they're rather depleted. Two more armies. No, don't sail too far without <laughs> naval protection. Vito Gravina. Los Santos Reyes. Uh, you land here and help push these remnants back towards Bogota. Good. So I'm pretty sure that's everyone. Should have done it this way anyway. But I'm, there might well be the odd random unit in a different uh, zone that we might have missed. Nope. Construction. Okay, we, we are officially now no longer bothered about what things get constructed. 
You're advancing up to the front. To be honest, Mr. Mendes, you may advance towards Yankton. It's very much what I want these two armies to start doing. Especially if they let if the uh, population let them. Although I think because the Cherokee have been destroyed, they're not as bothered. Well, they are, for darn sure. Okay, you're going to have to stick around. Apologies, Florencio Ayala. This is Nadal's battle to fight. But you're also on your way. You're on your way to, to uh, the outskirts of Texas. You're on your way up towards Santa Fe. Both you guys have landed. Everyone else is pushing. Oh, you fought, but you haven't actually um, moved yet. So you can probably... Well, just advance towards their capital. Let's give these guys a bit of a fright. Because they won't know what to do. Do they go east to protect Bogota? Or do they go west to fight the force that landed here at Panama? Who knows? Is Panama secured or dense? Is being knocked down? Good. Let's hit and turn. No. <laughs> Just take Nassau without a shot being fired. I think that's the, the humanitarian call. Yeah, but any lone ships that have been... La flota está <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, New Spain. My one fifth rate destroyed eight of your ships. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Let's see if the, this ship can do a similar thing. No, sadly not. Uh oh, they're coming back. See what a sloop can do against all these fifths. Ah, oh, I didn't do anything. They got captured. In a way, though, being captured is good, because that's increasing their budget burden when it can least be managed. I mean, all these units just... No. Auto-resolve the fragments, <coughs> force them to consolidate their armies together in larger concentrations. That's the better thing to do, I think. I've normally got a drink with me or something, but I haven't got one today. Workers Rye in Denmark. Yeah, but now I've destroyed the university. They've chilled out. So here, I have a coaching in. Fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. So at least my ships have been... They've been burnt in a way. Oh, for God's sake, there's no one here. Like, I'm going to just auto that, because if there's no big army to fight, then I'm not going to fight it. It's just a waste of time. Chill out on top of this hill, because we might have a force here. So Mr. Capitello might engage these chaps here. Okay, we've got a bunch of... There's a number of things we can do this turn. We will fight against this army... Here at Bogota. But the idea would be to use Mr. Capitello to bust open this front and allow Mr. Cardina, once this armies have been these armies have been cleared, to advance towards Mexico. But let's just make sure everyone's on the move. Well you guys may as well just run the long way around the border and then hit their territory. And we may as well we're the only major left. Oh, we still haven't taken Don Voisco. I'm a dum dum. Well, speak then. How about this? <laughs> there you go, Mr. Andrade. Advance on to Fort Salt St. Marie. Let's force make land off the coast. York Factory is right there. Good stuff. Um, but first, start the bomb and work our way up. Let's take Fabio 
and wipe away the garrison at Bogota. Because we could potentially, this could be the end of New Spain already. Like, uh, if we knock away all those troops that are blocking our route to Mexico, our interesting army could actually siege the city. And it depends on what kind of garrison they've got there, but I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker. All my artillery isn't going to be. Well, my artillery is. Might be a deal breaker for the enemy. But we've got just overwhelming superiority. Let's, let's group my cavalry on the flank, get my pikes on the other flank. Because, yeah, that's all they've got. <laughs> it will be a brave stand, but foolish. Make sure the cavalry's fire will off. Colonial line, general, colonial line. Artillery, line. Mortar garrison units about to collapse. Yeah, my Carabino Reale can, can afford to um, fire at will. Ah. Yeah, pull that artillery. You men engage the seventh, you men engage the tenth, my pikes engage the general. You men get up there and attack that artillery. You men get up here and attack the artillery. There, ah, pikemen. Ah, they're wavering. That's okay. Yeah, there we go. Cease fire with the artillery. Get my Cressier guards into the town. Battle has been joined. They're going down, sir. These men started to fire by rank, but in comes the cavalry in the flank. Yeah, my pikemen's going after their general. Everyone else can have a good old melee scrap. I mean, the coats. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the yellow and black. There we go. The men inside the town have collapsed. Get my general to chase down. Or get my cavalry to chase down their general, too. The 10th Regiment. No one's expecting you to hold. There you go, they've charged my pikemen, but mine will not rout as easily as their pikemen. <laughs> I was going to say, why is that horse still alive? Yeah, but in comes the Guardia de Corps. Native or auxiliary to the rear. So all my cavalry get over here and hit the native warrior auxiliary. Be full strength from every direction. Melee infantry be damned. My cavalry will clear you out, good sir. My car my um Carabinero Real might be a bit upset at the prospect, but it looks like we're doing some handsome business. Hey, there's more native warrior auxiliary. Group my cavalry up.
Yeah, my foot artillery lobs some shells in. There's only 178 of them, though. Don't think they're firing. Nope. No line of sight. So charge in. I'm trying to flee, but as they flee, my other cavalry theoretically come into range. Right, that's the end of them. Huzzah! So Bogota is taken. Chomp. Good, and then up here. Um, yeah, you're replenishing, so let's make Miguel Capitello use his force to clear them away. A couple of units, a bit of reinforcements, but nothing too dangerous. Nothing that will cause us to need our, um, our reinforcing, reinforcing army. Then depending on how far this army can move afterwards, we might be able to uh, send two armies to attack Mexico and then in one turn destroy New Spain. Although, okay, after we fight this, we need to go to Europe, take that territory, because then Russia might come back. I don't want Russia to screw up my game. Okay. So let's deploy unit of artillery. Backed up by some infantry. I'm going to keep my irregulars back with my cavalry, who will soundly mob anyone who deploys behind us. My gunners will deploy their stationary. Okay, they're okay. They're all. It's fine. It's all good. Guardia Decor on the left. This wing can stand to advance. Line infantry, frontiersmen, lots of other rubbish. I mean, this is heavy horse guard artillery, so I don't expect they're going to be too happy about being on the receiving end of that. Plus all my howitzers as well. You men on Limber just begin to open fire. So that's one reinforcing unit one, re one reinforcing army is coming from directly behind their position, which is pretty good. The 19th Light Horse are uh, charging in. Bold of them. So who's there to meet them? A regiment of foot, the 123rd Regiment of Swiss Line. Oh no. They're realising their attack targets aren't very good choices. <laughs> oh, this general's bodyguard needs to watch out. My Swiss guard are going to have got him in his sights. See how well they get on. Oh, oh. You lucky sods. See all the splashes from the misses. Oh, I think he got shot off his horse. He did indeed. Let's 
slam your shots home. Fundamentally, my cavalry can do can deal with uh, this force on the flank. Pivot my right flank up. Give my left flank some quite aggressive orders. The shrapnel shot the 56th from my heavy horse artillery. Oh, we did just miss out on... Oh, killed some guys there. Oh, yeah, my... my uh, my fight. So you guys are going to clear out the Frontiersmen. Then kill the 4th Regiment of Foot there. See, against such good infantry... They don't really have much of a chance, even with fairly healthy cavalry. So my guerrillas can counter those frontiersmen. We've killed an enemy general. Oh yeah, we've... Okay, that force is... gutted. So let's advance some Swiss line up to the new position. Okay. Oh, I need to turn my shrapnel shot off. Just charge all my heavy cavalry down into this unit of colonial line. New men form up. Native Warrior Auxiliary's done some damage. We get our howitzers to pick on some of these troops on the flank. Yeah, there's an infantry unit in the way. You guys chase down the horse artillery. Yeah, the 62nd have routed. So we're fighting against a colonial line infantry unit and a frontiersman with a guardia de corps and a conquistador unit. I like our odds. There you go, the frontiersman. That's the colonial line. Frontiersman will go down pretty quick too. Good form up. Maintain our advance. Let's see if anyone else comes from this area. I've got the distinct impression that's the lot. Newman advance. There we go. This frontiersman could come back, but I don't think they will. Fundamentally, everyone's just being taken out too quickly for them to uh, do too much about it. It's only these three units left. And once these volleys start tearing them open, tearing them open. Yeah, wavering. <laughs> Charge you men into the frontiersmen. Oh, see, they did come back. Can't trust the AI sometimes. These Caressia take out that colonial infantry unit. Actually, take you guys, plus you guys.
You devils should never have come back. There we go. You men charge on into the 53rd. All of our artillery. Cease fire. See, heavy cavalry, man. It's just so good. So who's this? It's our cuirassier unit. It's broken the 29th. There we go. Still got a good force left over. So we've battered our way through well, across South America. You men all fall back. They might not even fall back to the capital. But I think it's the only place for them to go. Oh, you can't... Uh, you can just reach the capital. Oh, they're just out of range. You men replenish and catch up. But we're going to try... We're going to do this the uh, sneaky way. Oh no, we can't. Frontiersmen? Uh, we have to wait till next turn before we can defeat the new Spaniards. Gah, so close. So very close. Uh, right, so... I mean, to be honest, I could probably land an army, run in and take it. I think I want to do that because we're getting quite close to the end. But at the same time, I do like these armies all advancing towards the Pueblo Nations because they don't want to, a few turns to drag. A lot of these towns haven't been upgraded. Probably going to see a Huron attack. Um, hmm, what to do? Realistically, you'll be okay. It's hard for me to put up... It's hard for me to ignore the potential... ...cleanness... ...of this solution. <laughs> to knock out New Spain. It's hard for me to ignore that. Especially when it's going to be such a hey, open and shut engagement. So let's get this sloop back over to Lower Louisiana and upgrade them to a global trading company. So Mr. Capitello. Actually, maybe I do that then. These chaps that are knackered advance up towards Texas. And I can't even see them. There he is. Mr. Mendez. Mr. Mendez attacks Mexico and holds on to the city. Those two more interesting armies march up north towards the Pueblo Nations. We're going to immediately be attacked by the Huron at, um, in the northwest. And maybe even attacked at um, their other territory. I've forgotten it <laughs> already. Um, but yes, we will destroy New Spain in this episode. I quite like that. I like having those clear you know what did we achieve oh no i meant to it's in europe Gah, doesn't matter got buckets of troops nearby if it if it spawns as russia then we will kill them so we've got three units they're going to go through the breach everyone else is just going to swarm the wall Everyone, hey, everyone just swarm the walls because fundamentally they can't hold everywhere. Should spread my cavalry out really. Oh, I've got another foot artillery unit, my bad. You men, blow a hole in the wall. Because you think, they're focusing on this block over here. Oh. 
that means they're going to ignore these guys. They're going to ignore the breach. Oh, that would is that's a good hit. I hear a charge. Don't care about the reinforcements because they're all rubbish. So I want them to get their grappling irons up because it means there'll be fewer issues from getting mobbed by quicklime. Hey, firelock arm citizenry outside. Yep, you're okay. Although you guys are being attacked by a unit that's pushed out of the wall. You men drop into square, defend yourself against that flank. You men also attack the armed citizenry. The idea being that at some point this unit will cross the bridge. And at some point we will make a breach. Yep, go after my light horse. More the merrier. So this unit run over and secure the gate. This unit attack the armed citizenry. To be honest, you guys abandon scaling the wall. This unit. I'm not quite sure where they're going. New men charge across the bridge now. There we go. There we go. All of our gunners can get to work on the breach. You men just attack the armed citizenry. You guys run across the bridge now as well. Run my cavalry in, run my infantry in. Get you guys off the wall. Come on, there we go. Pretty sure some of my artillery is attacking the wrong thing. New men all cease fire. Your destination is to go over to the right, try and attack these men here to provide a bit of support for your other comrades. You men attack the garrison unit. The light cavalry push on and attack the mortars. Let's mop up these field artillery regiments. Blow our way in. Kill the enemy general, which is great. Yeah, their infantry's dead. They know about the 
the central timer. You men charge up the wall. You men attack the native warriors. Come on. Oh yeah, you guys have I have this entrance, don't I? I do indeed. Could run my men through it, but that's a recipe for um, glitches and so on. Come on. One more volley will do it. You men should be going over to attack the first regiment. You guys have got... Oh, fine. You fight them. The light cavalry. Oh, the first are partially outside the wall as well. She looks like they're spread out all over the place. We've got our way in. The battle for the wall is raging, but it looks like we have domi domination there as well. Let's make sure we have one unit trying to counter, trying to drive the, the timer down as well. Okay, looks like they've all broken. The city is ours! <laughs> what do you think, Buster? <laughs> He's not so sure. Okay, they've not all they've not all um, broken. The sixty sixth sixty sixth are still holding on. Nope, oh, there they go. Kill the drummer boy. Well that's could well be our drummer boy. And it looks like we've got a notification for capturing the gate. But the city is ours. Yeah. New Spain is taken. Let's see the damage in Europe. Although Russia's not been a problem in this campaign, so I don't know what I'm bleating about. You have a school, don't you? You do. Here at Monterey. Demolish it. Oh, it's just the rebels. Don the Don Voisco rebels. Sorry, Vito Sanchez. You're just going to go... Blep. <laughs> Taken. Good. So as is tradition, it's only the uh, native factions left. So we're probably going to get sallied by the troops at York Factory. But if that happens, I will probably end the episode there. Because we've got... Well, the final episode will be the last destruction of the native peoples, I think. Let's hit end turn. Our oh, men advance. Up to the front. There's more armies sailing around to land off the coast. Oh, you didn't quite make it. That's unfortunate. The Huron didn't push us. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Maybe they lack the strength to, to do so. Catholic missionary in Egypt. Good on you. Natural causes. So I lost an admiral. Finally, my king died. I've got Louisa Isabel the first, who is just not terrible. It's the main. It's the her main bonus. Look at my just, justice minister, nineteen eighty percent cost of town watch. My navy minister's pretty good. Two of us have got a pretty good cabinet. New town emerges in Kumana. Well, lots of these armies just aren't going to get involved. They have fought their battles. Their war is over. You men advance to the new frontier. Now they've crashed into the back of each other. But we are within range to jump on. Wait, one more turn. Because one turn. That's no, two turns. It's one turn to get to the border. I see. Okay, let's take... Okay, and let's make sure... This force continues up towards Yankton. 
Are you, are you needed there anymore? What if I exempt you from tax? I don't think it'll help. We haven't got any other troops nearby either. Eh, yeah, no, you're going to hold Nassau. Could you just try spam recruit militia and just dump them all in ch into Chikasa? I can send you up to the front. I want to send them because they've got an interesting army. I could well just get this force out of Nassau because I'll have three turns before they rebel. Because this force isn't quite as interesting. It's still an interesting force. This is um, Fonzi. So you can get kind of close to their territory. They're only a, they're only a turn away. So I can probably cease recruiting. Get in there, Fonzi. Good. New port emerges. Puerto Bello in Panama. It's Portobello Road. Street where the riches of ages are sold. So I hear. Land you guys off the coast. You may continue your push towards Fort Salt St. Marie. We could have got, could get ambushed. Um, which wouldn't be a problem for me if they did try. But Arturo Cruz attack York Factory. So they've got a reinforcing army hidden somewhere. But as we can see, they're suffering quite significantly from a depletion problem. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for potentially the last episode of this campaign. Maybe. Yeah, it might actually be. <laughs> see you next time guys.